Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the Dunlop and Boat Ramp. You can see right here, they got FWC, Port Orange Police Officer, and they're wheeling a the guy back to the car over there. Not sure what he did. We're going to go ahead and try and find out for you guys. But I want you guys to feast your eyes on this thing coming in right over here. Look at this. They have everything going for them. They've got no wind, no current, and it's just a perfect day. Now, if you didn't see the video where why I don't help out, you probably know why. If not, I'll put a link in the description or somewhere where you can find it. Well, they come in here, the approach seems like it's not too bad over here, but the only problem is operator error. Now, for some reason, the captain sticks it in reverse over here, and I don't think he had that motor turned the right way. <laughs> that guy about goes for a ride right there. Now, I don't know if you know it or not, these pontoons, they have exits on both sides in case of an emergency. Well, they flip it and reverse it and put this thing over here and make a bunch of tripwire coming across here. Look at everybody snagging themselves on that line. Meemaw's about to get clotheslined. Well, they finally get it tied off. And they run it right over there through the motor. And even this bird's like, yeah, I'm, I think I'm good. I'm going to stay up here on my perch. Well, let's jump over here to New Smyrna and see what's going on. Now, he's got this thing in pretty good right here. It's right there. And watch this. Bam. The guy throws his hands up. For some reason, he's going to pull this thing out a little bit here. And if you ask me, that was in the perfect position. Now that thing backs out over there to the Atlantic Ocean. He starts to slide this thing right back in here and watch this. Cap decides to back this boat out here. Look at this. Look at that thing running out. I tell you, that's what it looks like when my kids use the toilet paper. Now we're going to watch Soldier Boy crank over here for a little bit.
he's undoing what the captain did here just a minute ago, watching him crank. You always want to make sure your help is always doing it right. You got to check it yourself. I think it's time for them to bounce. You got to check this boat coming in here. You haven't seen one of these videos before where I try to help out? This is the reason why I don't try to help out. He's coming in here, nice approach like that. The current's from left to right in this video. He comes in here and stuffs it right under there. Look at that. Now, before you touch someone's boat, you always got to ask them. Make sure it's all right. Wife checked with him. He says, no, nah, I'm good. And I tell him that it's stuck underneath the dock right there. I think it finally unlodges itself. Now he throws a little whiskey throttle in there to get this thing backed off the dock and then heads over to where that other boat came from. I think I got more comments about you should be helping out more, but this is the exact same reason why we don't. Even by helping or offering to help, it offends people, and then they get all butt hurt. I got another one here for you that's going to be coming up in a little bit, where he says, don't touch my boat, bro, and he slams it right in the dock. Now, this is a nice, solid, good approach right here, bringing it in. That boat's going to just settle against there from that current, pushing it right up against the dock. We got another guy that's coming in. It would have been easy just to throw that line right there. They could have been done. Just like before. Denied. Probably gonna need a little bit of repair on that gel coat in the front, but that's all right. But if you want to check out the social channels, we got YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. If you'd like to see some more of these videos, don't forget to hit that follow button and subscribe. We'll see you soon.